I'm going to show you how to find the optimal focal length on your laser. This is important to do if you ever swap out your lens. We'll find the correct focal length by using the ramp test method. Once we determine the proper focal length, I'll show you an easy way to set your material height so that you'll be able to engrave and cut with much better results. So let's get started. The way the ramp method works is that we use a piece of wood like this and we put it on a slight incline. Then with the laser we'll engrave a straight line and wherever the line is the most crisp, we'll take a measurement from there to the bottom of our laser and that will be our focal length. This incline doesn't need to be very dramatic, so I'm going to use a 2x4 and I'm going to use that to prop up the bottom part. The top part over here, I'm going to try to keep it somewhere near the, uh, the top of this rail here. I want to make sure that nothing interferes with the movement of the laser. So to keep this in place, I think I'm going to just use a little bit of masking tape and call it good. So in Inkscape, we're going to go ahead and create our test file. Uh, so I'm going to grab this line tool and I'm going to do one click and then I'm going to hold down the control button and what that does is it constrains the uh, line to the horizontal axis and I'm going to click again and then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit return so you're creating two points and that's it uh, and then I'm going to come up here to my pointer tool I'm going to select the line that I just created I'm going to come down to the blue right click and set stroke to blue and that will allow us to do a vector engrave. We're going to set the width. Uh, I figure maybe about an 8 inch line will be sufficient. So I'm going to come up here, change my increments to inches. And the width is about 7 and 3 quarter or 8 and 3 quarter. I'm just going to do 8 inches and call it good. We're going to have to resize our document so that it fits our new graphics. So I'm going to come up here to File, Document Properties and then click this button that says resize page to content and then click the button that says repage, resize page or drawing or selection. I'm going to click that and that basically resizes the document so it's the size of the graphic that I'm trying to engrave. I'm going to click close that. I'm going to go ahead and save it to my desktop. I'm just going to call it ramp test. And then in K40 Whisperer, I'm going to open my design file and select my ramp test. We're going to set our vector engraved to 20 millimeters per second and then on the K40 we'll just keep things at uh, 5 milliamps. So with the rails unlocked I'm going to move this thing over and just kind of find, figure a place where we're going to start it. And we'll start it from here and go all the way down. So we're going to look closer at our line. The line is kind of wide here and it gets more and more narrow and then starts feathering back out as we get to the bottom. If we look for the um, area with the crispest line, I would say that's probably somewhere in here. And I think that looks really good. So the way I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from where this is the most crisp to the top of this rail. And the way I'm going to do that is with one of these little speed squares or these uh, adjustable squares. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rest this bottom part on top of the rail. And then I can lower this part until it makes contact with the wood. Now the important thing here is this little level, this little bubble level. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get that level as best that I can. So maybe push that down just a wee bit. Right there is looking pretty darn good. And then I'm going to go ahead and lock this down. Now I know if I put this square and if it's level, this is the optimal focal length. So once I set my height, I'm going to take a little block of wood and I'm going to take this and I'm going to make a little mark on the scrap piece of wood here. And then I'm going to go ahead and extend this across just so that it's a little bit easier to see. And then right here I'm going to write the word laser focus. And then I'm going to keep this block of wood with my K40. 
So whenever I need to set my material height, I could come back here, grab my little story stick, and then grab my, my square, put it to the right height, and then I could go ahead and set the material height uh, for the optimal focal length. So let me show you how that looks. So let's say we want to engrave this black tile. I'm gonna go ahead and put in my scissor jack or that lab jack, and I'm gonna put my material right on top of that. And then I'm gonna bring back my story stick and I'm gonna reset my focus so that it lines up right here. We got it all lined up, we'll lock this thing down and then we'll put this right on top of the bar here. And you can see by the level here that it is not level. So we'll go ahead and maybe bring this down a little bit by twisting this knob and right about Let's see, right about there, looks just about right. And now we know that our material is at the optimal height for our laser. Hope you found this video useful. If you found it helpful, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. That helps me out an awful lot. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. I'd love to have you on board. Be sure to check out some of my other videos too. I have a lot to choose from. Well, that's all I got for now. Thanks for watching, you guys. Bye.